Les Fonts conquer the world. So, as we said in the last episode, what I was doing was, is, um, upgrading all our factories, and I did that. A lot of our factories are now upgrading again, and that cost me about one million dollars. It was expensive. And so now we're just going to watch as a ton of our factories extend and drive my, uh, and drive my, uh, what is it called? Oh yeah, industrial score up through the roof. I mean, there's only so much that the, uh, Americans, Americans, Chinese can do to catch up to me because at some point my empire is going to become bigger than theirs or it's going to keep becoming bigger than theirs and theirs is going to stagnate. Because right now, these two, the Chinese and the Americans, are the biggest concern in terms of General Frederick. Okay, I don't care about him. As long as it's not Patrice, I don't care. Um, right now, the Americans and the Chinese are the, like the new big nations that are like coming up from the ground under. And they're going to be industrializing pretty quick. But it's a competition between who can industrialize first, China or the United States. And we'll see in the coming months who will actually be able to or in the coming years, who will actually be able to gain a foot, but they are main competitors in terms of what we have to worry about. So let's, friendly, Brazil, yes. Okay, and, oh, what was I about to say? I was about to say something important. Eh, forgot. So another, oh my goodness, Bo, get, uh, okay, anyone ready for this? Spectator, who's going to support him this time? Because I'm not supporting Bulgaria. The Bulgarians have almost made me mad now that they keep... They keep uh, trying to gain independence. It's kind of angering. Because I'm waiting... They keep like halting other nations from having a turn of independence. Which, you know, I sh maybe I should try to deal with, but... Hmm... Uh, maybe... Is it time? No, it's still... No, I'm still not quite... I'm, as you can see, guys, I'm still not quite ready for a big rebellion. And, yep, the United States started to back the war, so... You know, and 14-hour days is the only thing I can do. Uh, temperance and labor. For If we are... Since the negative effects of a widespread alcoholism hit the poorest classes the hardest, the Temperance League has managed to find rallies. Let them work. Socialists must be opposed at every turn. That's a true statement right there. Socialism must be opposed at every turn. Or basically any party that you don't want to be in power must be imposed at every turn. So right now, as you can see, our governments are just... What kind of... We're kind of just consolidating power after our recent power, power outage, and we're still just trying to build up our army. We're still not quite ready for any, like, major conflicts, which this is probably going to make into a major conflict, and I can add Romania to my sphere! Yes! Okay. Um, okay. The only way this was ever going to turn against, okay, the United States, they hate the United States, they hate the United States. You know what? I don't even think I will have to enter this war because everyone hates the United States, so... Yeah. <laughs> don't even have to do anything, but I'll support this side and see what happens. A synthetic oil, that's really good. Support this side. Does that change any of these guys' voted opinions? I think it just makes it more... more geared towards my considerations. Because I'm one of the allies. And Romania, how are you guys doing in controlling your land? Okay. You guys really need to... Upgrade your army. Severely upgrade your army. It's not gonna last long. Okay. Okay. But our army is doing pretty good. It has tons of troops. And I think we're about done. And there's our cal then this is the calculations for all the uh, military uh, supply output and stuff. Um, we're still not making these tanks. I'm not sure why. We, You know what? Just cancel all these tanks. Because I don't think they're that important. Okay, and over here I'm going to set these guys for auto-kill. Auto-kill all these rebels that we finally have no rebels in this place. I think it's because it's an African colony and we have no, like, African colonies producing any type of industry. I think that's why. But, anyways, 
we're now going to start killing any kind of we revolutions or rebellions. Yeah, we basically got all of our colonies guarded. Wow, that feels really nice. Okay, so now we can start with our mass producing. So what do we need as our next army to match this one? We need 26, 26 red guards. Um, let's see, 26 red guards, 3 cavalry, and 13 tanks. Okay, I can do that. So let's see, build army. Um, just gonna, I, th I think it's Irish, yeah, it's the Irish Brigades. I already have enough tanks in the Irish Theater. Okay, you know what? No, we're gonna build this. This is gonna be a regular army. I'm not really particularly fond of big, gigantic armies of this army type. Yeah, because it, it's not really that much of a difference. And if it was on the battlefield, it really doesn't make that. So let's just... Oh, wait, whoops, I don't wanna... You don't want to produce all from one place. That's a really bad idea. Okay, you know what I'll do? Do that. Boom. But then I'll just decrease from like a couple of these places. Okay, 25. 3. 3 cavalry. This is, I kind of want to idolize this mod team. And then a couple from Europe. Hey, it's actually kind of perfect. Alright, so now will be our new army being made. Presently, that should like decrease our... I did not. Wow. That was really nice. We didn't have to increase our, like, e economics for that. Alright, so... Man, what are the... Oh, no, this is Crisis Temperance. Oh, I thought that was, um... I thought that was the Bulgarians already getting back this field. I was like, dang, they, they really do not like it. Okay. And Italy, no matter what, is going to join the Chinese, so... And I doubt the United States is going to fight against all three of us. The only way this could be even is if I join this side. Because then I'd make it America, it's Italy, and the Swedish. That's the only way this would actually be even. I mean, but otherwise this is going to be a pretty bad war. Yeah. Okay. Now let's start the next crisis. Now let's hope that the conservatives are still losing a lot of people. Like a lot. I'm really shocked about how much we're losing. In fact, the reactionaries are starting to gain more than conservatives. That's really not good. But at least, at least, at least with 21% and we're starting to gain back in power. The fascists are actually starting to gain power too. That's not good at all. That's not good at all. And I'm looking at all the nations that I can make. The biggest one apparently is the Talon area, which I don't even know where that is. It's, I can make about 40 of them. And, yeah. Man, my mind gets so distracted when it's like, just going through, just going through everything in its head. And, oh, somebody finally commented, finally, I finally got this comment, I was so ready for this. They commented that, hey James, you put, sometimes you pronounce these names of these countries, like Poland, Poland, but then sometimes you pronounce it like Polosk, or you will be saying that Germany is Russia, or Russia is Germany. And they were wondering why I do that. Um, it's nothing intentional. It's just basically my mind's moving faster than I'm actually speaking it. And, oh my goodness, somebody else can be made a colony. West Sahara. Gladly, I can make West Sahara a colony. There. That is awesome. A, trees, a treatise. A liberal professor at one of our universities has published a parliament of economics that has received serious attention in liberal circles both in France and abroad. The parliament is a... Profound little track arguing in eloquent terms the virtues of free marketing and laissez-faire and the author is now being mentioned in the same breath as luminaries such as Ricardo and Smith. We could decry, obviously we must take pride in our publication. No. Certainly this is only propaganda to slide to... I really don't like laissez-faire government so it's not going to be like my favorite. And, oh my goodness, our population is increasing by a lot, probably because of our birth, birth rates, and we are almost 48%. French is almost 48% of the population that we currently have, which is good, because that means we have a 50% majority in our own country, which is always good. I mean, let's look at our colony again. I mean, I can't believe the Irish actually gained a good standing with my people. And I know it's because we do own the Irish Isles, but I can't believe they even had that many people that they're even close to the Korean population, alright? So back to being friendly with them, I'm probably going to be struck down by the, uh, 
Swedish for doing stuff. Because the Swedish seriously do not like me. Like, seriously, they really do not like me. So, we won't see that. And I think Russia finally gained control of its rebel problem. And it's finally... Electrical furniture. Electrical... Electrical stuff. That's all you need to know about it. It's finally... But right back to... Hmm. I really hope that pre-dreadnoughts is not another... Is not another type of navy thing. But I'll get that next because that's actually very important. New store in Wepland. Um, I'm hoping that Russia... I'm hoping that Russia will learn from its experience and actually start industrializing. Oh shoot, I just realized I could probably industrialize Russia, but I'm kind of scared and oh my goodness, the Russian, oh my goodness, the Russians stink. Like, in terms of all the, like, they really should become communists because this, the communist system really does fit Russia. It does not fit a nation like mine, but I'm just, I'm having to deal with it. Alright. Anyways, what was I saying? Hmm. Oh yeah, the king apparently... Oh, we still have kings apparently. But, influence the back inside our influence. Huzzah! Brazil's back inside our influence. Huzzah! Huzzah! Okay, and we got banned from Spain. Romania's still in our sphere. That's good. No one really likes the Romanians, but that's still good that we still have them. And, the rest of the places... Not really particularly interested in it. Austria might be a fun one. That wasn't Austria, I know, but it looks like the Austrians, and it might be fun to do that, but... Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm definitely pulling away with the most out of every other nation, everything. I mean, I have an even balance in every single field. And these nations need to adapt. And there's really not many nations that can really fight me right now. I mean, I'm still upgrading my all of my factories to, like, new levels. Which is probably not the best idea, but you know what? It'll encourage more and more laborers, which actually a good amount of our population are laborers, but we need to convert. If we could have, I would have loved to convert like like 50% of our population to laborers. That would have been awesome. And officially, we just got through our war pensions. So what that means now is uh, sadly less buildy buildy because... Yeah, even if we tear off these guys, we could not cover our expenses. Now, I don't know where mainly... Oh my goodness, social spending. Why am I doing this? Wait, that's not our main problem. Where is this mostly coming from? No, it's not coming from here. It's coming from mostly construction that we're losing most of our many. Oh, electrical gear, I get it. Okay, I'm going to convert that down to like 35. I'm going to convert our naval down to at least as much as we need to. And land, I'm going to take down a little bit. We don't need to be producing that much. Okay, that's good. It's a good thing this is like the least one that really needs to be affected. And I can still support some social reforms. And I'm already getting some... Just tax. There we go. That deals with the problem. Just tax the poor. That's really all you need to do. Okay. Unequal amount of poor taxing usually works. Unequal amount of poor taxing... There it goes. Just keep it in the positives and we'll be fine. Okay. We open every factory. I want to make sure they survive a little bit. Stop subsidizing. I can only see some out of the corner of my eye. A lot of these places are being subsidized. Don't subsidize. If it collapses, it collapses. Oh my goodness, that like gave us a lot more money. Now I can start like supporting all this again. Let's support this to about... You know what? I'm supposed to like lessen taxes first and then start getting up my other stuff. So let's start getting up this to 65. That way, oh wait, no. I need at least to be 66. That way, I'll gain at least 200. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we got good social equality. And now some of our factories are starting to collapse. And oh my goodness, all of our men are starting to be made. That's good. Okay. You have to wait. Militaristic leaders die. Okay. Combine. Combine it. I think I'll combine it. Alice Lorraine. Alice Lorraine. I think it's uh, Alice Lorraine. I think that's how you pronounce it. Of course. I'm glad not many people. I'm glad you guys are very like supportive of my French style of pronouncing or my Amer my very American esque style of pronouncing things. I haven't had too many comments about. Oh yeah, you pronounce this wrong, jerk. 
which would really make me feel really bad. So shall we host the World Fair? An excellent idea. If I can host anything, I will. Hyperinflation. That's not good. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm hoping... I'm not sure if these guys were actually already there. Because I'm not sure if this is supposed to be for my Grand Army. So I'm just going to move these guys... I'm not sure if these guys are supposed to be here. I know I didn't make any troops in Wales, so I'm definitely going to take all the troops from over there. Um, let's take all you guys, let's take all you guys, let's take all you guys over here. And it seems like these two armies are actually starting to build up. The World Fair is open. A great and splendid for our country. Because we can afford it. Okay. And is this a, no, this is not a colonial ship? Put these guys back here. I'll combine these guys. Um, is this where it is? Okay, this is where it is. Okay, I'll just have you. I'll just keep these guys with another like major ships. So that way, we don't have to deal with anything. And there we go. Election starting. Hopefully, it's going to turn out to be a good electoral day. Yeah, let's move our soldiers over here. And. Let's see, are we actually, well, it, this would tell us, are we making any more men? No, we aren't. So, yeah, this is definitely, this army's supposed to definitely be a part of this one right over here. Okay, let me move this army over here to go pick up these guys. Mm. And, um, Scotland, please don't become reactionary. Because I really like you have, I really like you as uh, the crowning jewel on top of the British. To just say, ha, Brit, the British. Look at their power now. Huh. Which the British do not like us. That's to be expected. We whooped them in twice. And there was a war between somebody and... Oh no! So everyone, it finally came to pass. The mighty nation of Donchnik, it's gone. I, I just want to give it credit though, everyone, for a second. Give it a quick, like, good mo moment of pause there. Because, you know what, Don Stink, for all its worth, was one of the few nations I... It rose, it was a pretty well-fought nation, a pretty well-fought sea state, because it fought itself from the Prussians back in the olden days. And it did not lose its independence until just now, which is quite amazing, in my opinion. And the Italians are being jerks now to the Austrians. They're conquering just a little bit too much. I mean, interventionism. I mean, this is just being a jerk. They should have taken this part. I mean, that that would have made sense, but they just took, like, a big chunk of actual Austria. Yeah, Austria, I don't think, is ever going to recover, but we still have to keep splitting it up, so. Still, it stinks for them. And soon if I have to, I'll have to go to war against the soldiers, pro army. Down. Yeah. Mm. And soon, things will happen, but how's the episode looking? Oh, shoot, it's time to go. Um, uh, last thing to finish, last thing to finish, um, thank you guys for watching, um, uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and see you guys next time.